If there's one thing I've learned from living on planet Earth, it's that humans can ruin a lot of things. Uh, mostly fun things. Call me misanthropic, but we are a repressed, imperialistic bunch. Previously, I touched on Toe Jam and Earl, the cult classic created by a team of developers who were big fans of Rogue, but along with being a nerdy bunch, they were keen to the carefree hip-hop culture of the 90s that was sweeping the world. It was time to continue the story of the boys from Funkotron, but due to pressure from Sega, the roguelike format had to be dropped in favor of side-scrolling platforming. The result? Toe Jam and Earl 2 panic on Funkotron for the Genesis, and this time the Earthlings are coming to play. <laughs> Although the butthurt ran rampant among more traditional fans of Toe Jam and Earl, Panic on Funkotron is still as whimsical and fun as ever. After the events of the previous game, the boys head back to Funkotron for some much needed R&R. To their chagrin, the Earthlings have unsuspectingly hitched a ride on their funky spaceship, and once they touch down, all hell has broken loose through the appearance of ADD kids, nosy tourists with cameras, Bloodthirsty poodles, even creepy boogeymen. Right. You must use the power of super jars to capture the Earthling menace before they have a chance to spread their disgusting DNA all over Funkotron and turn it into a planet of shopping malls and general unfunkiness. Panic on Funkotron doesn't fall far from the tree as a platform. Presents are still abundant and will help your point total climb, along with funk points, super jars, and other add-ons. A plethora of skills and devices are at your disposal to capture the Earthlings, such as a funk vacuum that will compact a screen full of them into one easy-to-carry jar. You will come across dancing mini-games with your homie Peebo, with which you can earn more funk points if you can show him your moves. A squad of judges will observe your bouncing fungus skills as you soar gracefully through the air. Hidden among the funky landscape are presents, hazards, and earthlings, all of which can be uncovered with your funk scan, a funky radar that will show your immediate surroundings. But just like the panic button and funk vacuum, supplies are limited. It pays to be smart while sniffing around, lest your dome gets cracked by a heavy object. The development team didn't miss a beat in making this game look great, and you'll agree when you take a stroll through Mac Daddy Meadow, where you are surrounded by a gorgeous, multi-layered field of flowers and a cosmic sky. <laughs> Although Panic on Funkotron is nothing short of entertaining, it might lead fans to wonder what would have been had Johnson Vorsanger Productions had gone through with their original idea of a roguelike sequel. Another treasure hunt? Perhaps. But one thing is for sure, there would probably not have been a hyper-funk zone were it not for Sega pressing the issue. And if it weren't for the fine folks at Steam and the Sega Genesis Classic Collection, you would have to go digging around for this hard-to-find Sega title.